Uh, the president, first let me tell you you are a terrible liar. And I want to you to acknowledge to Kenyans that you are a serious, terrible liar, Mr. President. Last week, wawe mwenyewe ndo ulisemu kwa sema ya kwamba ulitumia 200 million kuhaya hiyo ndege, which was cheaper compared to ile pesa ugetumia kuchukua ndege ya Kenya Airways. Sa leo, sijui kizugu imegeuka, ukarudi ukakuja kuambia watu ya kwamba, ulipatiwa ndege, utue just 10 million upeo ndege ya bure. Mr. President, hacha kubeba wa Kenya ufala. Hacha kubeba wa Kenya kama wajinga. Be very keen that anything that you speak, wa Kenyans, wa Kenyans, wa kona mamu wa Kenya, wanaandika hiyo vizo vitu. Any promise that you made, wa Kenya wanaandika. Ukisema umetunia 100 shillings kufanya kitu. Be very sure that even in the next four years, uta maintain your 100 shillings. Don't lie to Kenyans because they questioned, wakauliza mbona umechukua ndege ya mwatu place ingine, au kutumia ndege yetu. Sisi, ata tukua na aja na sana na pesa, Mr. President. What we were advocating for is that wewe mwenyewe na serikali yako ndo umekua mkituambia buy Kenya, build Kenya. So what we were concerned about is why not you use Kenya Airways when they at least you advertise the geetu yeye tunajivunia juu tuna ingine. That was our biggest concern. Aiko ile pesa imetumika. No, 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 no. Kenyans we are, we were asking mbona president akutumia the geetu yeye tukonayo so that I advertise. You see, Mr. President, when you use Kenya Airways and you travel with it from Kenya to the United States, you, it's a form of ad advertisement that in the Geyao ni Mzuri, even their president, uses eight malimopote anaenda. Manao, Mr. President, ukikuji sezo wanze kutuambia kizungu mingi, oh, my friends donated it from me, for me, I only contributed 10 million, oh, it did in... Nani... Last week uliongea nini? Bona Mr. Ruto, kwa nuna tuona aji? I am 100% sure uh, easy demolitions inaendelea next year. You will like just to foolish Kenyans that I, Mr. William Ruto, I never participated in those demolition. I was not even around in the country. I met kama in vitu zimebomolewa. I am 100% sure that is what you are going to tell Kenyans. Mr. President, begin when you are telling us anything. We are not fools. We are recording and we are writing. By the way, mtu kama mimi huwa nakuandikia makosa yako yote. Ukifanya kitu naandika. So that ukidanganya wa Kenya 2027, vote for me again. Toko tunambia wa Kenya, angalia indo credit call. Hapa ndivyo mse ya mescall. Hapa lipata 0 over 50, hapa lipata 0 over 100, hapa lipata 1 over 10. This is what your man's called. Because you can't be calling yourself asla, and you are in debt at 200 million. Nata mafuta hiko hapo. Just tell us who did we have to buy it. We have no problem to make it here for poor slaves. We will be taxed more. Ufuraie. Mama Mboga will be taxed more. Mutu wa mkukoteni, mutu wa boda boda. The poor farmers who are in somewhere in Sugoi, your place. Who are in Mount Kenya. Who are in Taitataveta. Sa hizo kena kubeba mimea zao. Hizo gari zitakuwa zinakuwa taxed. That's how, Mr. President, you want to treat Kenyans. You want to live a lavish life with your people. Pale Mount Kenya, tunaona my MPs na magava na wanangangana, wanashindana. Who lands best? Nani ya kwa nandake mzuri? Nani ya meland vizuri kushida mungine? That is the competition. Competition is no longer about development. Competition is no longer about accountability. It is the competition of who gets more than the other. But anyway, msiba wa kujitakia uambiwi pele wa Kenya. 2027, be ready. Be ready to kick out this government. To send them home. Yes. My question is, uh, uh, you demolish houses for the people living in slum areas. And uh, you leave those houses uh, in Kileleshwa, in Lovington, in Runda. Those houses that are, are also in Raparian land. What do you mean to poor Kenyans who voted for you, Mr. President? Let me just use that word, poor Kenyans, eh? 
Kwa hapa kuna class yenye mnajaribu ku divide. Mnajaribu kuleta kuna class ya the rich and the poor. Because hakuna nyumba yote ni mwenye imeangushwa kileleshwa. So far kuna nyumba imebomolewa runda. Na hizo nyumba tuliona zikija maji. Yes. Zilikuwa in all TV stations, zilikuwa online hata sasa hizi tumeza toa hizo videos kuoneshane that uh hizo sites that nini za runda manyumba zilikuwa zimeja maji. But hakuna nyumba ambayo nimeona imebomolewa up to now. Nyumba za inaona zikibomolewa ni nyumba za Madhare, nyumba za Mkuru kwa Njenga, Mkuru kwa Ruben, watu wa Kibera au ndo wanabomolewa. Let me ask you this Mr President. Eh? Do you think ni kupenda kwetu kuishi Madhare na Uruma na nini? First let me say that sometimes back I used to live in Madhare because I was born and raised there. Na siko na option ulizaliwa huko au uko na option option ilikuwa ungangane in future utakuja kujitoa huko those people who live there they don't live there because they want no they live there because akujawahi kuwa na serikali ambayo imekuja ikakuwa na good governance ikapatia watu nafasi ya kujitoa kule what tunapatanga ni government ya matajiri kwa matajiri so nyinyi ndio mna develop au watu wanaachwa pale pale au watu wanango watu wa kujitegemea The reason those people live there it is because mapato yao iko very low that mtu aezi afford kulipa nyumba imepita ngiri tano. The reason why mtu analipa nyumba ngiri tatu it is that yeye the highest amount of money and is a in a day it is between 300 shillings to 500. Na ukiangalia ile bei ya unga unaotuzia sukari and everything huyo mtu akishanunua haezi pata pesa kulipa more than that rent. That's the reason why unapata mtu anaenda anaishi in a slum area so that aweze kupata chakula aweze kulisha watoto wake naweza kupeleka watoto wake shule even if it's a government school so i am asking you have demolished those houses of those people living in slum areas eh unasema ati nyumba ziko karibu na maji what alternative are you giving to those people eh kwa sababu usipopatia na alternative where do you want those kenyans to go are they not kenyans are they not governed by the constitution of kenya kwani katiba inakuangalia matajiri ama inakuangalia kina nani cuz at the end of the day sometimes i sit down and ask who owns this constitution are they the only the rich and the poor are excluded or what hmm? kama nini maskini enda enda pomolewe nyumba na hakuna mtu anaongea up to now hakuna mp anaongea mmenyamaza tu hivi lakini 2027 utakuja kuomba kura eh? 2027 will be begging kenyans so vote for me vote for me i love this agenda What is your purpose in parliament members of parliament? Why can't you stand with your people? Why can't you tell the government enough is enough? Why can't you speak for the people who woke up very early in the morning to vote for you? Ama unadhani wao ni wajinga waliamka kwa nyumba za mabati wakaenda kuchaguka kishi Karen. My friend, enough is enough Kenyans nani? Kenyans mali mefika, you need to defend your right yourself. Hatuna members members of parliament pale parliament ambao wanaongelelea kwa issues za common wananchi cuz if our MPs you can watch houses being demolished in Madhari na macho hivi muangalie tu hizi ni nyumba zina kario bangi nyumba zimebomolewa zote na hakuna alternative solution mnapea mnarudi mnadanganya watu hapa mtawapea 10000 hata hiyo 10000 ndaiko na hiyo 10000 unapea unaenda unatafuta nyumba gani ni nyumba gani na rent deposit kubeba vitu hmm? Sasa zingine hata mnapata mtu jamisha vitu zake zote mnazibomoa mnaziweka kwa maji mnatupa hmm? The other day mlienda kubomoa nyumba mkambiwa kuna watoi amkusikia mkabomoanisha watoto wakakufia ndani Who is speaking for the poor person of this country Honestly who Who is going to speak for them Cuz sometimes I sit down and ask myself eh tulichaguana yes tulipeleka wabunge but what is their work what is their role because the biggest role of a member of parliament is representation why are they not representing us at this time when we need them when are you waiting to represent us are you waiting to represent us when all those houses are demolished and then you come with all shenani guns so angalieni serikali eh why can't you stand with your people members of parliament and say enough is enough and tell mr president no It is okay these houses are built in uh, they are on water but what do we need to do can we find an alternative solution for these people or you just stay up and talk and, and assume that Kenyans are full and 2027 they are going to stand again and vote for you mheshimiwa hmm? 
Kenyans, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Amkeni kwa yu ndoto melala wa Kenya. Muamke kwa ndoto. Wake up, Kenyans. Wake up, Kenyans. Because, eh, wa Kenya wanaumia hapa nje. People are suffering. Kwa imagine mtu wa mebomolewa nyumba, hata hana kazi. Saizo, maybe alikuwa na bagina landroad, anamombia landroad. Nishikilia current kai mwezi, hmm? nitafte next month. Saizo ndo huu nyumba zimebomolewa. Hana malipa kwenza, hana malipa kwenda. That person maybe hata hana ushaku kwao. Si kila mtu wakona ushaku kwao. Some of us were born and bred in Nairobi County and we don't have a place to go. So, what do you want us to do? We need good governance and Kenyans are not begging. We are not begging any member of parliament to represent us. It is our right we are demanding. We voted for you. You are in parliament. Courtesy of my vote. Courtesy of somebody else's vote. So my vote must count. And if it's not counting 2027, my friend, we have to fire you. Mm. Na msiseme Brenda na ungea juwa nataka women representative in Nairobi County. Yes, I need women representative so that I can rep represent the interest of those people who live in slums. I feel I know their, in their, their issues better than anybody else. I was born and bred there. You can't explain to me what it means to be to be raised in a slum. I know it better. Awezi eh? niambia shida ya watu wa mkuru. Awezi niambia shida ya watu wa uruma. Shida ya watu wa madhare. Apo ndo nimelelewa. Eh? Kumanisha si ishi huko saizi imanishi si jui. I've been raised there. And I have to stand with them 24 hours. Lazima nisimame na wawo. I'm a product of that slum. And any time that slum is demolished, my friend, I feel dami yangu inachemuka na sikia ni kama mimi, ni kama kwangu. Because I'm assuming those time when we were raised there back in 2000 something. Eh? Ingekuwa ni time yetu sibado watu mamangu saizo njimbe yake ingekuwa imemomolewa. Hmm? It is the same wish ya mtu yote. People live there because of bad governance. Hakuna serikali isha ikuja, ikaundia vijano wa mtani, job, ika create employment, watu wapajitua kwa shida. The government that comes, it, it, it's, it's a circle for the rich. They enrich themselves and think now the poor people are very useless. No, it can't go like that. The poor people must be respected, yes. And I'm using that word because they have washa eka gap. The rich and the poor. Hakuna hata middle class. Ndwa mana hakuna nyumba ime bomole wa runda. Unakuja kutubomole nyumba kwa slam. E boom, tupati otana safe solution. Izo shamba zenye zimerutiwe tuangutu nde tukaye huko. Tujenge. Because we don't have a place to live. The people need to be represented. Kuna mama saizi na nalana nje na watoto. What do you think that woman feels? We need proper representation.